So the embed is pulled in place. Hey guys, uh, so uh, yeah, we finished framing the wall out, it's complete. Uh, we actually jumped the gun a little bit, we did the pour, as you can see there, it's still wet concrete, and we just went on and started framing. Uh, everything went, turned out well, kept that pattern of 16 on center. So we, uh, we sheathed this wall, the three, uh, three quarter inch plywood, and uh, we have also layered a um, we layered some of this galvanized uh, poultry wire up, which will assist in giving the concrete that's going to go over this something to adhere to. What's most important to me about this wall is that um, it's airtight from the utility room on the other side. I don't want anything from this side leaking on that side or anything on that side leaking onto the living space on the inside here. Um, there's nothing hazardous to be concerned about. Um, I just I just want to have it airtight. So I did stuff like, like I said, I went up to the joists here, all the way through. Um, that's going to get great stuffed and concrete parched over. Even in the corners here, I'm tied up against this existing concrete wall. Um, that's all going to get all this and concrete, concrete over. And um, yeah, the bottom here, concrete, I'm going to flush it into the floor. Uh, so it's like it's airtight all the way around. And uh, it's only exposed either from when the door opens or closes. But the other thing is in that utility room, there are two uh, carbon monoxide producing uh, pieces of equipment back there. Those two carbon monoxide producing pieces of equipment are the water heater and the furnace. Not the furnace, the water heater and the boiler. Uh, they are, I mean, everything's properly installed. I mean, it's just not, it's not a carb, carbon monoxide leak in that room, but because this is intended to be like a lounging area, you know, I just want to double precaution, um, <clears throat> make sure that it's airtight. This is clean, fresh air coming in here. It smells good in here. So the walls are parched up now, uh, type that structural concrete. I also continued the, uh, that little brim street design. Uh, makes it look uniform to the existing work that I did over here throughout the whole entire basin actually. Uh, electrical boxes are roughed out for the receptacles. Got all that concrete out there nice and cleaned out. Looks beautiful. Around the penetrations, um, we got as best we could with the concrete. We're gonna come back on the other side with the great stuff, and then probably some fire caulk on this side. This will all be hidden behind the plenum. Have it, uh, great stuff around the penetrations, uh, giving me that airtight seal from the utility room in the living space. It ain't gotta be pretty. All the stuff gets hidden uh, behind um, the finished wall on this side. I just wanted to clean up the gaps, that's all. I'll clean up any access that I have. But yeah. Well, it looks great. Just insulate it with uh, R21 insulation. It will then get a three quarter inch uh, ply sheathing. Uh, over top of that will go the galvanized wire mesh. 
uh, and then the finish will be that concrete finish we showed you guys earlier that's uh, con continuous around the basement walls here. Uh, this does conclude the uh, basement wall partition construction and uh, thanks for watching.